Hey, this is a quick response to Christopher L's video, Secularism is Antichrist 2, as in part 2. Uh, there's a lot in this video and the one preceding it. What interested me most is Christopher's complaint that American Christians are falling down on the job and, quote, aren't very Christian and have been seduced by secularism because Christian positions on a number of social policy matters uh, do not prevail in the United States. Christopher, allow me to suggest an alternative to your Christians aren't very Christian and have been seduced by secularism view. Uh, the New Testament, particularly the parts that deal with the actual life of the church in the world, carves out an extremely narrow public role for Christians. Why? Uh, because a Christian's primary task is, quote, to serve God and to wait for his son to return from heaven. Uh, when it comes to government, 1 Timothy 2, 1 to 3 instructs Christians to pray for those in authority. Why? Quote, so that we may live peaceful and quiet lives. In other words, so Christians will be left alone. There's nothing in the New Testament that calls on Christians to push for social policy positions or anything like that. So perhaps the truly or very Christian position is to stay out of all this stuff. Serve your God, wait for Jesus to return from heaven, and pray for a quiet life. Just a thought. <laughs>